Hey guys, this is Fog. I'm here to show you how to make your own overlays uh, without any uh, knowledge of ActionScript. So, say you have a overlay that you've already made. This is the old Battlefield Fridays uh, overlay that we used to use. And uh, all you need to do is go into Source, and go to and open one of the example files. You, you, we will use no pips in this case, which is the easiest one to use. Now, if you put what well, press Control Enter, that will compile the file, and uh, you'll be you'd be able to add that into XSplit, and it would show up, and it'll be more or less ready to use. Uh, but that's not what we want to do. We want to edit this to make it look like a uh, overlay in uh, a PNG. So first thing you probably want to do, delete this, the background. Oh, let me walk you through that by the way. You want to click on the scoreboard here, double click it, that opens the scoreboard part. Now you want to delete the background, which is the basic uh, shape for the scoreboard. Now you want to roughly uh, position the overlay such that it's uh, where, more or less where you want it on the screen. And that should do it. Now the rest is easy, you just want to click and drag the, th the things you want on top of your PNG file, like so. As for this, which is the game of uh, text, uh, one of the things you could do is you could just uh, move it out of the way. You don't need to have it inside the scene, and just move it out of the way. Now, let's say we want a font that's different from this. Say, Orator. Want to use something techy for this? Okay, so the next thing you want to do after doing that is you want to click embed, and you want to remove Arial Unicode because we don't want to embed that into our file. Next, you want to embed Orator Standard, and click all here. That embeds all the glyphs for that font in your Flash file. If you don't do this, uh, chances are you won't see all the characters in your uh, your Swift file. So now you want to Control Enter. It's compiled. Ignore this, and uh, when we reload this scene, you will notice that we now have a working Swift overlay. And obviously, you can swap the names, swap the scores, and it's pretty much uh, pretty much works how you expect it to. So yeah, that's the basics of how to make a Swift overlay using uh, the example files.